now let us consider some cases to make our uh, understanding clear consider case 1 when the line charges of infinite length wherever we will consider point p the upside line will be plus infinite and the downward it will be minus infinite so in that case if the line charges of infinite length and remaining conditions are remain same charge density and everything remains same in that case the point p that is considered here will make what will be alpha 1 and alpha 2 because these two terms are unknown only so what we can say here this is the perpendicular length and the first the first end is a the second end is b that is at infinite this is alpha 2 okay and this is alpha 1 from here we can see from this point to the one end is alpha 1 from this point to the another end is alpha 2 okay alpha 1 is moving in this direction and alpha 2 is moving in opposite to that here one assumption has been taken that we have considered anti clockwise the uh, angular uh, rotation as positive in that case the maximum value if this length change to infinite then alpha 1 can be maximum in that case alpha 1 can be pi by 2 if this length tends to infinite and if if this length tends to infinite then alpha 2 tends to minus pi by 2 hopefully it is clear in that case electric field intensity due to infinite line charge will be equal to the put the value of alpha 1 and alpha 2 here cos alpha is 0 0 so there will be no z component now put the value here cos alpha 1 will be 1 here it will be sorry put the value of alpha 1 alpha, this will be 0 put the this value here you will get minus rho l divided by 4 pi epsilon rho sin alpha 2 sin minus 90 will be minus 1 minus sin 90 will be 1 multiply uh, in the direction of a rho so finalizing this we can say minus 2 will be multiplied here rho l divided by 2 pi epsilon rho a rho ok so this is the electric field intensity of infinite line charge infinite length line charge will be in the direction of rho and with amplitude this ok now let us try to understand this how much we are accurate towards our result consider any point for example a the electric field intensity at this point p from this charge will be in this direction consider e1 ok it will have two components one will be horizontal another will be vertical so its projection on the x axis 
on this axis will give you e1 component in this direction e1 component in this direction consider another point that is at the same length from the perpendicular at the top it will give you for example consider e2 since it is at the same position in another direction so the component of this will be this and this the component of this in this direction and the component of this in this direction will be canc cancelled out and the component of this in this direction and component of this in this direction will be added out so total field will be two times this uh, two times the component of this in this direction okay so if you will take you will consider any point its component here its component in vertical consider here its component here its component vertical so vertical components will be always die out cancelled out the horizontal component will be there in this way this direction is the red, um, the radial direction okay vertical direction is z direction however this direction is radial direction so there is no component in this uh, z direction only the component in the direction of a row are present there that is verified from here so this is the electric field intensity in the case when line dis line charge distribution is there of infinite length now let us consider case 2 in this case consider that this line uh, this point is at the middle of this line point of interest at which we want to find the electric field intensity is at the middle of the line charge this is the point this is our charge distribution of density rho l if it is at bisector of this line then we can say at perpendicular bisector p is at perpendicular bisector in that case what will be here it is alpha 1 what will be alpha 2 it is isosceles triangle so it will be alpha 1 again so alpha 2 will be equal to the alpha 1 however with opposite sign so alpha 1 is okay alpha 2 will be minus alpha 1 okay now put it there in the final form if you will put it there then uh, okay write the formula once again to make the things visible 4 pi epsilon rho minus co sorry minus cos alpha 2 plus cos alpha 1 in the direction of az again here az component must not be there according to this analysis so let us see plus sin alpha 2 minus sin alpha 1 a rho okay i have just written this formula once again now we have to put value alpha 1 and alpha 2 in terms of either alpha 1 or in terms of or Uh, of alpha 2 so let us put in terms of alpha 1 so alpha 2 should be equal to the minus alpha 1 i am just erasing here and putting the value minus alpha 1 and we know okay come to here 
it will be minus alpha 1 okay in this condition alpha 2 will be minus 1 alpha 1 so we have uh, uh, taken the value of alpha alpha 2 from here and here we replace them by minus alpha 1 and we know cos minus theta will be cos theta so according to that it will be minus cos alpha 1 plus cos alpha 1 it will be equal uh, uh, 0 cancelled out so again is that component will be absent sin minus alpha 1 will be minus sin alpha 1 alpha 1 and minus again sin alpha 1 so it will give us times 2 in the direction of rho so if we will simplify then we will find 4 pi epsilon rho minus and minus it will give you plus 2 a rho and if we will further simplify it will give you so the value and sin alpha 1 sin alpha 1 is missing. So, this is the electric field intensity when the point of interest is at the perpendicular bisector of the line chart. In this case and in this case there are no vertical component of the field. So, z component is absent only rho component is available there. So, consider now case 3. In this case, assume that you are at the end, one end of the line and second end is at uh, infinite. Consider it as at infinite. So, you can say case 3, uh, you are at one end observer you can say observer is at minus infinite so you are here it is minus infinite point p is here okay it is moving onward. So, in this case what will be alpha 1 consider it you are at the end of this because this is the negative direction of the line this positive direction of the line you are at the end of this. So, what will be alpha 1 alpha 1 in that case if you will find uh, assume the con this condition then alpha 1 will be 0. And what's about alpha 2? Alpha 2 will be you are at this end, so and this end will be at the end. So it seems to be that you are seeing vertically, so alpha 2 will be minus pi by 2. Put the value here and try to find the uh, electric field intensity. So let us try to find E will be equal to the put the value here. So, it will be minus rho L divided by 4 pi epsilon rho minus cos alpha 2 minus cos alpha 2 plus cos alpha 1 in the direction of A z. Consider it there is no charges in this direction this is the end at minus infinite you are present there so this com there is no component in this direction so in that case the vertical component of this will be suppose any point here field will be in the direction two component will be here one will be horizontal, one will be vertical. To compensate this vertical component, a charge should be here, must be here, but there is no charge. 
so in this way what we can find a z component is not possible to eliminate in this case so possibly z component should be here let us try to find okay plus sin alpha 2 sin minus pi by 2 minus sin alpha 1 into a rho okay carry on minus i think it is visible minus rho l divided by 4 pi epsilon rho it will give you 0 it will give you 1 1 a z it will give you minus 1 it will give you 0 minus a rho so this is the electric field intensity in that case when observer is at one end at negative end of the uh, line charge hopefully it is clear to all of you this is the end of today's lecture thank you very much so students please let us try to solve few questions based on line charge density the first problem is given here an infinite line charge of density 20 nano coulomb per meter lies along z axis we have to find the electric field intensity at this point so directly coming to the particular this problem let us just uh, recall our derivation that we have done yesterday for electric field intensity in case of line charge was rho l charge density line charge density divided by 4 pi epsilon naught until or unless the uh, material is given the rho and inside the bracket it was minus sin alpha 2 minus sin alpha 1 in the direction of a radial vector a rho plus cos alpha 2 minus cos alpha 1 in the z direction i think yes this was the formula that we have derived for electric field intensity at any point due to line charge so now let us try to find the electric field intensity in this case for that purpose let us visualize the problem the line is placed along the z axis so consider this z axis and this is if this is z to bring z we have to do cross product this is if it is positive direction then x should be here x y cross product will give z us z to us now uh, the charge density is 20 nano coulomb per meter okay it continues now let us allocate the point at which we are interested to find the electric field intensity that is point is in the direction of x six point in the direction of y coordinate will be somewhere here and in the direction of y z in the direction of z it is three so the point of interest p is 683 this is the point of interest ok p now we have to find the electric field at this point so just try to find the perpendicular distance from this point to this line charge that will be parallel to this plane oh, sorry parallel to this plane this is rho by the way this is rho 
and this is point P and the angle since it is infinite so this is alpha 2 that is minus pi by 2 because assumptions has been taken that in the clockwise direction it will be negative and this will be at minus infinite side it should be alpha 1 that will be pi by 2 now for particular this problem we have this type of argument where alpha 2 is minus pi by 2 alpha 1 is pi by 2 and rho is just try to find the rho then the coordinate of this is rho is this length in the xy plane so it is rho how much it should be this coordinate is 3 in the z direction so it should be 0 0 3 so if we are interested to find the rho then this minus this square this minus this square and this minus this square that will give this length to us so it should be equal to the under root 6 square plus 8 square and the direction of this will be a row direction like that i think that is 10 the direction of row so overall the required parameters for finding the electric field intensity at any point that is rho that is 10 alpha 2 minus pi by 2 alpha 1 pi by 2 and rho l is already given so for particular this problem try to find e is equal to rho l 20 nano divided by 4 pi epsilon naught for time being don't put the value rho is 10 absolute value of this is 10 in the direction of minus sin minus pi by 2 will give you minus 1 minus sin pi by 2 will give you 1 in this way it will give you minus times minus 2 it will be 2 in the direction of rho plus cos minus pi by 2 will give you 0 and cos pi by 2 will give you 0 so it will be 0 az probably it is clear so if you will put the values then you will find 1 by 4 pi epsilon give you uh, 20 into 10 to power minus 9 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught will give you 9 into 10 to power 9 that is known value and this will give you 2 in the direction of rho divided by 10 probably it is okay so now this will be cancelled out this will be okay 18 into 2 that is 36 a rho so this is the final electric field intensity at point p due to this infinite line charge okay so in this way electric field intensity at point p will be equal to the 36 a rho newton per coulomb now let us do another problem that is a line charge is distributed along z axis between z is equal to plus minus 4 meter with a uniform line charge density 10 nano coulomb per meter find e at this point so the formula is same just we have to put the values in this formula this is the standard formula for that first draw the image that can be a replacement of this image this problem this is z axis the charge is distributed along the z axis
this and that is plus 4 minus 4 here will be origin it should be if it, this is y then sorry if this is z axis then this this should be x and this should be y now we have to find the this is the distribution of the charge and rho l is 10 nano coulomb per meter e at 200 it means it is at x axis because this and this coordinate is 0 so that is at length 2 unit so 200 zero zero will be this point that is p p point is here now we have to find the electric field at this point due to this line charge distribution so let us try to make the image more clear this is our charge and here is x at the length 2 unit this is 4 unit and 4 unit length is always positive so 4 unit this is 0 0 0 and this is our 4 0 0 4 0 0 minus 4 this is 2 0 0 this length will be rho that is 2 this is 4 and this is our alpha 2 and this will be alpha 1 now the put the value of alpha 1 alpha 2 here e will be rho l 4 pi epsilon naught rho minus this is 2 this is 4 so sin alpha 2 will be perpendicular by hypotenuse so it should be 2 square plus 4 square that is 20 so 4 by 20 okay and since it is considered as minus so it should be minus minus 4 by 20 and minus sin alpha 1 will be plus 4 by 20 in the direction of a rho plus cos alpha 2 will be 2 by 20 because cos minus alpha is cos alpha minus cos 2 by 20 this is not considered as minus length because that is length so it will be 4 by 20 anyway it is in the direction of z okay and this thing will be cancelled out the remaining term will be rho l by 4 pi epsilon naught rho 2 times 4 divided by rho 20 in the direction of rho and which one is radial vector a radial vector will be along the a x so rho will be along the a x you can write it here 10 into 10 to power minus 9 
1 by 4 pi epsilon naught can be written as 9 into 10 to power 9 into 8 rho is 2 into rho 20 it will give you full so it can be written as okay when you will solve it then it will be cancelled out 2 will be out from here so inside will be 5 here will be 4 2 180 divided by root 5 that is uh, Newton per coulomb it should be in the direction of a x